Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network. Great to have you with us on the program, website thisweekinamerica.us. On the program now, we're going to be talking about car care. Actually, a book has been written for me called Car Care for the Clueless. They actually could drop Clueless, clueless and put, put Rick in there. Our guest on the program today is the author of that book, Pamela Oaks. She's an ASE an ASE certified technician, owner of the nationally recognized award-winning uh, service center, Pam's Motor City Auto and Tire Center in Fort Myers, Florida. Pam, welcome to This Week in America. Great to have you with us. Thank you for asking. I love the title of the book, Car Care for the Clueless, or How You Can Make Money While Maintaining Your Vehicle. Let's start with yeah. that. How can you make money by maintaining your vehicle? By not spending the money repairing your vehicle unnecessarily. Yeah, and I'm sure you see that because everybody now, at least you see these national stories, that, and, and I do the same thing. I'm trying to get a few extra miles out of this before I go in for what I know is a, is a needed repair. And you say if you do that, you're really costing yourself money. If you do what you're supposed to do, in the long run, it will save you money. Correct. It, you know, the whole premise behind the book is to save you money to keep the money in your wallet and in your bank account instead of putting it into your car. And it's just by doing simple maintenance items. Remember, any time that you would shell money out, even if you got a second job, you're still going to be behind. You'll never get ahead. But if you don't spend it, you're ahead. The book, by the you way, money. yeah, in the, in the book, Car Care for the Clueless, and you can get that at, at Amazon. You go to our website. You can uh, link on right. to Pam's website, and you can order it that way as well or go directly to our website, which is carecareforthecluelless.com. Uh, one of the interesting things in the book, and, and you start off like so many of us, we don't really understand what's going on, and we take the word of a mechanic, and sometimes we don't have that, that much confidence in the mechanic. First step is, okay, how do we go about choosing a repair shop, a an auto service center like yours, and it, yours is nationally recognized. People, uh, you've well, been in business for years. All, I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, you've been in business there for years. How what what should we look for if we don't have a Pam's Auto Center that we know we can go to in, in our town? What do we look for in our service center? Well, first of all, what you want to do is you want to ask your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, where do they go? You know, it's not based on a website or a yellow page ad. It's based on word of mouth. The good experiences that your friends, individuals, so on and so forth, have had. Um, first of all, before you ever have a problem, you go and you visit the automotive center. Is it somewhere where you'd like to sit down in? Is it clean? Is everybody pleasant? Is it somewhere that you'll be able to tolerate sitting for one, two, or three hours maybe if you're having your car a major repair? And you want to look around. It's an automotive shop. It's not a hospital, so it's not going to be kitchen clean. But you're going to see if it's neat or not. Are, are the techs, are they clean shaven? If they don't have a beard or something like that. Um, you, you, just, you can tell within the first five seconds when you go in. And then you're going to ask them questions like, are they certified? Are you a Blue Seal, ASC Blue Seal shop? This is very, very important because you don't want to have somebody practicing on your car. You want somebody repairing your car. You're listening to This Week in America, our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Pamela Oaks is our guest on the program. She is ASC certified. She's a technician, owner of the nationally recognized award-winning service center. Uh, Pam's Motor City Auto and Tire Center in Fort Myers, Florida. The website is carecareforthecluelessdotcom. That's also the name of her book, and you can get all that information at our website. It's interesting when you when you talk about that, and you say even the even cleanliness in terms of the technician. We're used to seeing them working on cars, and you expect a little grease. And you wear gloves when you're working, uh, latex gloves, yes. as your technicians do. And you say that's really important to check that out as well. Well, you know, you're going to get dirty. There's no two ways about it. But there's a difference between getting dirty and looking sloppy. Big, big line there. I mean, you look sloppy. You know, your appearance is sloppy. Um, you can't really, especially during the summer, if their shirts are untucked, they, they need air. It's, it gets warm back there. You got to remember all those engines they're producing after you turn them off around three, 350 degrees. So if you have a shop, you know, that all gets combined. It's going to be warm back there. 
but you're going to be looking for, you know, unshaven. You're going to be looking for clothes that are torn, but it's been like that for a while. You can tell. You can see if something's been newly torn versus right. they're wearing something that's been like that for a long time. You want to have them have pride in themselves. They have pride in themselves. They're going to have pride in what they do. We are just about out of time. We've got about 30 seconds left. We'll have Pam back on, on uh, future programs to talk a little bit about uh, what you should look for in taking care of the car. Got 30 seconds, Pam. Give us one tip that will save us money that we really need to watch out for in the long run will save us money. Keep your gas tank above quarter tank. Keeping it above quarter tank, first of all, saves you on not having to replace the fuel pump because you burnt it out. And that's between $500,000 savings. And plus it improves your fuel economy because the programmable command module, the computer in your car, doesn't go into a reset, which your fuel economy, no pun intended, tanks. And it takes a while for it to come back. Keep it above a quarter tank. Perfect. We'll have Pam back on the program. You've been listening to This Week in America. That's Pam Oaks on the program. Her book is Car Care for the Clueless. It's available at Amazon. You can get information at her website. Her website is carecareforthecluelist.com. You're listening to This Week in America on the Blue Funk Broadcasting Radio Network.